hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 58th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about arithmetic operations on pointers now there are a lot of arithmetic operations that you can perform on pointers you can add two pointer variables you can subtract pointer variables you can multiply them and uh, you can even perform relational operations on uh, pointers that is you can compare two pointers but those are not arithmetic oper operations and we're not going to discuss those in this tutorial in fact the only arithmetic operation that we're going to discuss uh, on pointers in this course is how we can increment pointers right because that's something that you would see programmers do a lot the rest although people do such things and such things can be done but we're not going to discuss those things in this course right so incrementing pointers is important and you should know how you do that and what's the significance of uh, incrementing a pointer and uh, we're going to see that in this program so as you can see using code blocks i've saved a file i've given it the name incrementing underscore pointers dot c on line one in this file i have the std io dot h header file on the second line i've declared the main function and then between the curly braces for the main function i have some code so i have declared an integer array called arr on line four and it has five elements currently and uh, all five are integer values and the values are 15 20 25 30 and 35 on the next line i have declared an integer pointer and it's called ptr and on line six i have uh, a statement that says ptr equals address of arr so what i've done is i have made the pointer ptr point to the array arr right and uh, you know when you do this the pointer by default points to the first element that is uh, contained in the array right so and you also do not have to specify the index of the first element within square brackets after the array name so if you want a pointer to point to the first element in the array you just have to specify the array name and of course you have to put the address of operator before the array name right so ptr currently points to the first element in the array which is 15 and when you would increment ptr you would move from one memory location to the next right so in we're going to see how we are going to do that and we're going to use a loop for that but uh, there is another statement on line 7 in on line 7 i've declared an integer called i and this variable i'm going to use as the control variable for the for loop that i have on line 8 so in the for statement i initially has the value 0 and it's going to loop till 4 because in total there are five elements in the array arr and we want to print all these values right so we want to print the five values on screen and we're going to do that without using the array right instead we're going to use the pointer variable and we're going to increment it to move from uh, one element to the other right so within the curly braces for the for statement i have uh, printf on line 10 which is going to display the element number first so there is a percentage d format specifier here after the word element and it's a part of the string that's going to get printed and uh, it's going to be replaced by the value i plus 1 right so the first element is element 1 and since i in the first iteration has the value 0 i would have to add 1 to it to print 1 instead of 0 right and then i have another percentage d format specifier and this one is going to be replaced by the element value right so ptr currently points to the first element of the array arr so when you would put the asterisk symbol before the pointer name you would get the value that's contained in the address in the pointer ptr right so the pointer ptr holds the address of the first location held by arr so 15 would get printed on the next line in the first iteration itself i have incremented the pointer variable and i've done that by typing ptr plus plus and there's a semicolon to terminate the statement and when this statement would execute ptr would point to the second element instead of the first element right and in the third iteration it's going to point to the third element in the fourth iteration it's going to point to the fourth element in the fifth iteration is going to point to the fifth element and that's how all the element values in the array arr are going to be displayed on screen right so let me click on build and run and show you guys the output of the program so there you go in the output window we see element 1 is 15 element 2 is 20 3 is 25 4 is 30 and 5 is 30 35 sorry so i wanted to discuss two things in this tutorial the first thing that i wanted to talk about was how you can increment a pointer obviously that was uh, the main subject of the tutorial but I also wanted to talk about how you can make a pointer point to an array, 
right and when you do that you do it uh, the way I've done it on line 6 here so you just have to type in the name of the array and of course you have to use the address of operator to get the address but when you do this the pointer by default points to the first element in the array right so it points to the first memory location that's held by the array so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching it and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll uh, discuss something interesting and important again and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll see you soon